I saw a video the other day and the question that it asked was who is Tim Anderson? So let's talk about if it. If you didn't know, he's actually a small town kid from Alabama. He's best friends with Josh Donaldson. He was a 2021 and 2022 all-star. He's the hero of the bat flip and he actually lived out a movie in real life. Get the wall! In Tim Anderson's short career, we have seen so much from him. Even though he's a shy guy naturally, he really knows how to be in the spotlight. But with that being said, we're gonna be talking about the thing that nobody ever talks about, and it's his defense, and specifically his glove. Because, I mean, the guy's known for bat flips. The guy's known for being clutch. I mean, his batting average shows that he's a great, great hitter, and it's good that he's known for it. But why aren't we talking about his defense? This to shortstop, Tim Flagman's out. Off the spin, he got him. Tim The honest truth is he's just not that good at fielding. Compared to other MLB shortstops, he's average to below average. For a while, people were saying things like, oh, he's just gonna end up in the outfield, you know, maybe a left fielder, a less crucial position for defense. But he's also been a two times all-star. So what do you say about that? So we're actually gonna be using UZR to figure out who's good, who's not. It's a defensive stat that kind of wraps it all up into one thing. This is all for 2021. That way it's a full season, but Bo Bichette had a negative 5.2. Then we look at Fernando Tatis Jr. His was a negative 7.2. And then Brandon Crawford, a little bit more of a defensive shortstop in 2021, was a 3.4, so actual positive number. Our guy Tim Anderson in 2021 actually had a negative 0.9. All these guys are just amazing at baseball, but when we compare them to each other, we kind of find Tim Anderson kind of in the middle. Now, with all of that being said, I cannot stress it enough how much I like his glove, so let's talk about it. TA wears a glove, two in the pinky. His finger is out, but it's just on this index finger still. And then the shape of the glove, he flares the thumb. The pinky is just barely flared. It's honestly kind of straight, but these fingers are all rolled. My biggest takeaway is that he tightens the fingers up a ton, so you can see we have all this extra lace. In the end, this is our final product. It has a very even close. I really am excited. I haven't gotten to take any ground balls with this yet, so let's get to it. So fielding with this glove felt absolutely Absolutely amazing. I was extremely satisfied with this. And now for anybody who doesn't know, this has super snake skin. That is super skin and snake skin combined, just like it sounds. Super skin is always supposed to make a glove feel lighter. Uh, this glove does not feel light, to be honest. It feels very average, very comfortable. The design is absolutely beautiful. The little bit of red that is on here just pops super nicely. So I wanna point something out. We tightened up our fingers like you know, plus this web is honestly extremely sturdy. And H web is often what I would consider like the most heavy duty web, but this honestly might take the cake. This might be like the most sturdy and durable infielder's web that there is. What I'm saying is even though this glove isn't super shallow, it felt like the ball was never shaking around whatsoever. It just felt very stable. I originally was going two in the pinky with my finger out because like we said, that's how TA does it. But I ended up switching to traditional for a little bit and I found I really, really liked the way that this felt. I just liked everything about it. It felt more natural. Ground balls felt a little bit smoother. I had a little bit more of a grip on the actual ball while it was fielding. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is a Wilson G4. It's of course gonna say that it's the Tim Anderson game spec because this is his glove and whatnot, but it's the the same thing as the G4. I'm 99% sure that the G4 and the 1786 are, are actually the same glove. They just have different webs. And the 1786 is hands down one of the best glove models that exists in baseball for infielders specifically. So obviously the G4 is just gonna follow suit. This is a fantastic glove. If you like Wilson's, a 1786 and G4 are just extremely good options. But like I said, the only changes I would make for myself is switching to traditional. Other than that, the tight fingers with this sturdy web, I'm a really, really big fan because this thing feels like it'll last extra long. So the G4 and the 1786 are basically the same exact glove, but this is 11 and a half inches. 1175 would actually be the 1787. The 1787 combined with the Matt Chapman break-in might be the best third base glove ever. 